Hey, it's Kendall Lee, the Gulf Coast Baller, the Payhound, the Pro from Pensacola, Florida, and we're here with another episode of the Smoke Screen, where we just watch movies. Sometimes they're brand new, sometimes they're classic, and you know, we just really peel back the layers and, and talk about them again from a right now perspective, and I got a pleasure, or have the pleasure, of introducing the Smoke Screen crew. You know them. We got B. We got Rose. We got Takara, and we got Tip, the bartender, because you can't forget to tip the bartender. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. So, no, this is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day on the smoke screen, and we got some, got a real, got a real interesting movie um, we're going to look, look at today. What y'all got going on? How everybody feeling? So I I so Ice Cube was right. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Did y'all, did y'all know that you could probably Google this? Somebody actually figured out what day he was talking about. You know, the internet is crazy. Somebody listened to the song and figured out the game when he watched it, when the Lakers beat Seattle and the weather, and they figured, they narrowed it down to the exact date I, I wow. was talking about. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes people have too much time on their hands. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good little interesting fact. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Yeah, had to had to Google and, and find that out. So today we are going to be talking about the movie Secret Society, and this is one of my picks. And I um I came across this movie I think on Instagram. I got the promo for it. But I was actually, it was ironically, I was directing another short film. So I was really doing some studying on film. So I watched the movie looking for the cinematography and stuff because I seen it's uh, directed and written, if I'm mistaken, by Jamal Hill. So I went down to Jamal Hill rabbit hole and I had watched all his movies. Uh, if you've seen like Brotherly Love, that's on Netflix with Kiki Palmer. Um, mm-hmm. Deuces with Lorenz Tate, that's on Netflix. Like they, he did all those movies. So I was like, okay, I've seen them. So I I watched this and I was like, hmm, interesting. And then it just it just, and it just went on a whole loop. Yeah. And, I, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I and I and I've had the pleasure of enjoying like putting different people on this movie, and I just love to hear the reaction of it. <laughs> when they when they watch it, so you know, in true uh smoke screen fashion, uh, when y'all was watching this movie, what kind of smoking was your screen? I I was on the um I was on that marathon OG rest in peace to uh Nipsey Hustle. That's what I was smoking uh when I watched it, and um uh, and I've seen it a few times, and it I got another perspective. <laughs> <laughs> was smoking a little citrus serenade um mm. yeah you know mix that in i like to kind of blend so i probably had a little lemon oh to go mm. <laughs> you're a blender okay 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 and um uh, what y'all sipping on over there all right so what we got right today right now I had to write it down because a couple of things. It's pretty tasty now. It's Punch Punch Moonshine. Mm. We got watermelon vodka. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. Watermelon vodka and very fruit punch. punch. Fruit punch. Like real juice, though. Not mm-hmm. like fruit punch on the, the shelf, but the fruit punch like in the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got a little bit of re- um, fresh fruit in there, so it's pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. I call it juices and berries. Yeah. <laughs> so you say <laughs> you say it's hunch punch and moonshine? It's hunch punch moonshine. Hunch punch flavor. Oh, moonshine. do condoms come with it? Yeah, 
Goodness, goodness gracious, Ju juices and berries. Okay, okay, okay. Now <laughs> let's go. On, let's go. On, let's go on get into it. So, when you all, uh, you know, seen the trailer or read the synopsis or whatever of the movie, uh, what did you think about it? I don't know what it is about me, but I just dive in. I don't believe in yeah. reading the trailer. Like, if somebody says, watch this movie, I'm taking it on your authority. Okay, yeah. watch this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I yeah, I'm watching. So <laughs> I just dove in expecting nothing. I didn't even know what to expect. Oh, wow. It's a hood movie. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is a hood movie. You know, it's going to be about some Oh, yeah. It's a yeah, hood movie, all right. It's, no, it's, it's, it's definitely delivered on that um, aspect. I just it uh, it was it was a different kind of hood movie. I'll sure. say that. I read the synopsis and I didn't. <laughs> nah, nah, that did not meet. Like it said that they had a little secret, mm -hmm. essentially. I don't have it written down, but. It said that they had a little secret. Nobody would ever guess. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy. I just thought it was like some shit, you know, hood shit. Hood shit. Yeah, yeah. I was, I didn't, regular hood shit. Hood shit. Hood shit. Hood shit. I didn't read the synopsis either, and I also thought it was hood shit. And I was, <laughs> I, I, I'll admit it, I wasn't really looking forward to watching this movie. I was. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe. Yeah, I dragged my ass out of it. <laughs> yeah, watching this one. Well, it, it was some it, it was some hoods in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has some definitely. Oh, yeah. all, all hoods have been kept. Nothing had been snipped. <laughs> no, no. It was good, man. Like I wasn't like if that's how it began. Like the first five ten minutes in was how this is. This is like a beginning of a good year. This, mm -hmm. this right here, this is this is the beginning of the good shit for the year. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, okay, let's see what's gonna happen. So, um, tell me, what did you like about the movie? Oh, the fashion, baby! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh, definitely! Yes. Oh my god! They was dressed now. They were dressed. They yes. were like yes. there were some misses, but for the most part, nine times out of ten, they was nice. Yeah. yeah, the rompers were gorgeous. Mm, no. I love the the dresses, the oh, mm. shorts, everything. everything. Mm, shoes. Shoes. Oh, yeah. The mm. club scene rompers that they were wearing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The ones that were. Oh, yeah. That was gorgeous. And there was another one that had mirrors on it. Okay. Now, boom. That one right there. Because I always ask every chick this that watch the movie. I want each of y'all answer. So that club scene, one had on the mirror outfit and the other one had on the other outfit. Which outfit do you wear out of them two? The one with the words. Yeah. Me, for sure. Me, the words. The mirror, for sure. The mirror. Like and then, like okay, that. so, oh, I had to say the words, but there was another mirror one that was real sexy with fingers in it. Mm. That was later on in the movie. We ain't gonna yeah. talk about that yet. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm ready though. So, so, so to Carl, you the only one got the mirrors on. Yeah, I don't like word stuff. That's not, that's that's not even true. true. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I wouldn't. I don't like that. I wouldn't wear that. I just would not. That's all. Because I don't like the words. That's all. Maybe I don't like the words that are on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Like that particular. Well, anyway, I don't like yeah. that. <laughs> and that and that's that's interesting. <laughs> Because the majority of chicks, they go with the mirrors out of them too, and now we got a majority the other way. So that's so that's pretty so that's pretty cool. Um, what what what's something that you <laughs> keep it keep it short? Because as we talk more, I'm sure we're gonna talk all around this movie. But just give me one thing that you didn't like about the movie. Okay, let me go first. Um, give me give me show. Show. <laughs> ass to dash. How is it? it? How is it this that one. this one cannot determine 
an asshole from a bad hole. Okay. That is what made me mad about this entire movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I had, and I agree, what I chalked that up to was the movie. I think that was just strictly, oh. they just had to, that was just a part of the movie. We just had to buy what they were selling that they didn't know, which we mm -hmm. know in real life, that's not happening, man. Mm -hmm. like, but that you, they do say that. They what? They didn't know. They didn't know. Man, please. <laughs> Please. That's what I needed to hear. That's what I needed to hear. Them, them, do, them, do, them hoes do not feel the same at all. We know. We know. At all. At all. So yeah, that's like that's one. That's definitely one of the standouts. I'm like, come on, man. Like, it's no yeah. way. So I'm just gonna assume this is just for the movie, like. Okay. 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 So we're to suspend our disbelief. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we just we, we just got a rock. We just got a rock with them on that. Okay. Is, is, was that all? That's what. Was that all y'all's? For did anybody else something? Else? Mm, um. Let's see. It was all. Um, it, it really all centered around how you ain't know because you ain't touch nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you ain't put nothing nowhere. You. You want to talk about it some more? Because we suspended our discipline. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. What else you got? So, I got it. That was it. <laughs> In the beginning, what Hannah, me, go ahead. Me, mm -hmm. um, so they bought a thousand dollar bottle or something and sent it to this man in an effort mm -hmm. to get his attention. I didn't understand that. I don't. Like what? Why you, know, what? you, you gonna buy him a thousand dollar bottle of liquor? That's what I did. <laughs> you know, you know why you didn't understand that? Please help me understand. Because you, you're not a man. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Was this movie yeah. written by a man? Yeah. yeah. To my yep. Own. Yep. Oh, okay. That's what. Yep. <laughs> no, yeah. If, like what's up? Like her door. Like that's exactly what she said it was. Like it was, she was putting bait in the water, yeah. and but she it was a dice roll too, cause they could have been some f boys and just mm -hmm. thank thank you and kept going. But mm -hmm. as you see, they actually came and offered to pay the money back, so it was they was in a win win situation, so it worked. But yeah, that's that. I mean, anytime I want, that was just a thousand dollar bottle that was over the top again, you know, for the movie. But man, it could have been a peppermint. Anytime a woman pretty much comes at us. We it gets our attention because it's supposed and to be the other that's way around traditionally. That's interesting that you said it could be a peppermint. Um, okay, but, yeah, it could be a peppermint versus yep. a thousand dollar bottle of liquor. It just mm -hmm. is that. Hmm. I guess it's the whole idea of money attracts money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was a point. So that was a about to be an NBA star in my regular world. It could have been a compliment. Like if a woman give you a compliment, go out of way to give you a compliment. Like she didn't walk across here or say that just for, for you know for nothing, to, you know for them for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Men a compliment on the go, you know, because you know we should do that and we keep it moving because we don't want to be harassed. You know they got that stigma out there. But when a woman when, <laughs> when a woman does that, go hey I like such and such. That gets we stop and be like hold on, because you ain't have to do that. You know, so yeah, that so yeah that 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 worked out for her, man. See, even even a homegirl ain't get what was going on. So, all right, so we we kind of we kind of started talking about this already, but we can delve into it deeper. Like who who was flying the movie? Y'all talked about the fashion. I'm gonna tell you something I noticed off top. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a licensed barber stylist. The hair, and I like to get the opinion on the women because yeah. make, make sure they just me, man. They hair the parts was so symmetrical like i don't like their hair looked yeah. so good like is it was it just me or is that how it's supposed yeah. to be? tina's hair was spectacular yeah pretty much through the whole movie yes tina's hair was really really good now um I, we, celeste 
So last had on a wig and it was not laid very well. Now sometimes you would catch it and be okay, but other times it wasn't. And I, yeah, I pretty much she had the same one on the whole, the whole movie, if I recall. But Tina, Tina's head was late. I mean, it was late every I, time. I think we had a debate. Well, we, not a debate, but we kept trying to figure out was that her, her hair? Yeah, because it's yeah, it it, it sure looked like it. Mm -hmm. maybe they had inches, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, inches. Yeah, they had nice mm -hmm. Even a young Tina looked like that. Looked like. That was that child's real hair, um, the long, the long hair that Tina had as a young one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was cute. Yeah, yeah, it was right. cute. How, I need each of y'all opinion. How y'all felt about the blue face hunted outfit she wanted to wear? Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. You know what I like? I like the the cut was okay. I didn't mind the style, but those dollar bills the, are the print the whole thing <laughs> like it should have just been one solid off white that was great yes exactly but it could have been any wasn't it the wedding it could have had yeah two that was the wedding that was a mess it was a that mess. was a whole peplum suit wasn't it yes it was yes. a suit it was a two-piece suit mm -hmm. i guess it looked like two pieces but the print that's how yeah. i know yeah. the print I no. like the peplum. I kind of liked it. Uh, I like the uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I didn't like the peplum. I'm sorry. And and a oh. homegirl, and she co-signed it. She was like, you looking good. She complimented her as soon as she walked through the door. And I was like, cut from what? Yeah. <laughs> no. and, and see, I don't know. I think that's going to fall into one of them, um, you know, just a time and place for it. Like, I don't yeah. think that was for a wedding, but I also know yeah. that's probably some designer, you know, getting their stuff. Also, the person that oh, liked it probably, oh, probably, look, probably, you know, probably look for that suit. But something else, again, observe her, her breast was off. Did you anybody catch that in that suit? It's like it, yeah. it, it just kept jumping. Out. Yeah, it kept jumping out at me. I'm like, why they didn't even <laughs> cut? Yeah. That's how you watch it so many times. You pick up on stuff I like that. <laughs> there was also another scene where her boobs was off. I can't remember what scene it was. Well, when they ain't yours. That's a good point. I, I can't confirm but a nice out of women business. Uh, sometimes you'll settle weird. So you have to yeah. be careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just like you know, the best. And one's bigger than the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah I realize one's bigger than the other. Yeah. Yeah. It's just real. So, um, okay, here's another another movie that had a um, because that was the basis of it. Had a lot of male interest. Who was y'all pick? Who was looking good to you in this? They had a lot of dudes in rotation. Mm -hmm. Um, jail, jailhouse, uh, prison bay, prison bay. Yeah, yeah prison bay. Y'all, y'all still stuck on prison bay? I'm not no, 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 I never no. was, but as far yeah. as hot, out of the ones that were in the movie, yeah, yeah. Speaking What's uh, movie, Jeremy Meeks? Yes, yeah, Jeremy Meeks. Jeremy Meeks. Shout out to Jeremy. What you say, B? Acting, I think he did a better job than I thought he was going he, to. He did a better job than most, like. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he he didn't really took advantage of his opportunity. Absolutely. I'm not turning it around. Mm -hmm. So nobody um nobody liked the realtor? Yeah, he was a nice looking. You mean the one that was like taking care of the house? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that was his house. Yeah. I mean I get it and I get it, but <laughs> but What's he he no. <laughs> he like, I thought he was attractive. He was, he was. Besides, they were all yeah, decent. They were all um, yeah. Not no show yeah. 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 Not no show yeah. yeah. Prison baby. I mean, Prison. Jeremy Meeks was the. <laughs> he was surprised to see him. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. I would pick him. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, is it anything that we've talked about a lot? Is it anything that y'all could think of that just like jumped out, stood out about the movie, just kind of hit you in the face 
that you can that you can yes. put your finger on. <laughs> yes. Five minutes into the movie, five minutes in, they was giving head. Does that happen? <laughs> like you really like go in the club five minutes in. You order a bottle. Uh, okay, that's movie time. Movie time, five minutes. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, you ordered the bottle, and then you ordered, and then you went in. And after you came without, but I guess that's part of the game. I did, man. That's, that's, that's yeah, that's. I think that's a part of their play. Cause yeah, yeah, they definitely they was diving head first, so they had no problem. <laughs> they had they had no problem doing that, and see, that's gonna throw us off because right. <laughs> When we interact, when we went, you know, we won't head. We won't right. head, right? We don't know when that's going to happen. We don't know if that's coming with the first, with, if it's all coming at once when sex happens or if it's like the fourth time or if it's ever going to happen. And to just lead with that, like, right. we, you know what I'm saying? And But then I also think like, okay, so they're not telling people that uh, they're men. So right. once you do that, I think it kind of puts the other person in like a uh, like a crazy situation. Situation because they enjoy it so much. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't did it. So if they do find out, it's like, ah, uh, I think you, I, I think you'd rather just run away and not tell nobody than do the whole, you know, violent thing. That's why she was trying to explain. Like, you think he gonna want to tell his brother what happened? Like, we good. Right. Seeing how that turned out, but yeah, they definitely was diving head first. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Fast. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, when you talk to me, when stick out to me, real fast, real fast, that pink dress on the boat. Oh, it was with the, the most with the feathers. With the feathers. Straw. I oh, could yeah. not <laughs> deal with that dress. It took over the whole scene. Yeah. I whatever they were discussing on that boat at that time, I could not focus on on account of the the freaking dress. She looked like a peacock. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, the oh, peacock like, was coming. Man, they see. Did y'all? Did y'all notice this? Uh, so when they walked outside. To sit down outside on the boat there was like this dark skinned couple that was yes. standing by the door yes. <laughs> and when i looked at they looked real awkward man like i, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know i didn't know what was going on you know like what but they, they okay. was over there looking real looking real awkward um let's see right quick so they uh these two uh people had a lot of guys going on but then in true fashion she had her old white man and going yeah. out there and brought a home girl um with her if you know stepping outside yourself in a single situation y'all with that 60 year old white man Mm-mm. i mean unless he's bruce willis or like okay so hold on so you finna basically say it's, it come down to looks yeah I even if know, even, I'm a Libra. I love it, all things beautiful. And if it, <laughs> if it presents itself in a pretty enough package, then I'm gonna see what it's talking about for a little bit. Like I ain't gonna if I'm single, yeah. I'm gonna see what it's talking about for a little bit. Pretty special 60 year old has some amazing things going on in his life and he just gotta have that swagger and it's gotta be something. Drip. Yeah, like, he, he's swagged out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it's not that, but he worth three hundred million, it's a no. So for us, but for them, they wanted security. Yeah. Or for her, she wanted financial security. So for mm-hmm. her, yes, let's go with it. You know, it just it screamed like what's the right word? Security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stability. He would have been. He would have been a provider. Yes, he was yes. the most stable guy she had ever met up mm-hmm. until that point. Right. And he yeah. had millions of dollars and he was nice to her. And he bought her j- jewels and gems and all she had to do was that one thing he liked. <laughs> and, yeah, and he was with it. But he was for her. That was the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. For her, I mean, for me, I would say just based on looks alone, no, you know, but 
uh, or just based on being 60. No, but 60 doesn't always look like 60. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or what we think 60 looks like. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, 20 years older or uh, it's not a big gap. You know, the number sounds big, but not a big gap, you know. So I will say the fact that he was with it because I'm sitting as I watch, I just I keep saying, Okay, you are born a man, living your life as a woman. Why y'all won't tell people when you meet them? That's the root of that's the that's the root of the problem. It's people out here that's with it. You can say yourself a bunch of trouble. I I know I know a couple chicks said that they shouldn't have to tell them. No, I think you need to tell. They definitely need to tell them. They yeah. shouldn't tell them, but at the same time, sometimes it's hard to tell them. Like some dudes don't take that real. Um, they don't take it easy that mm-hmm. they've been talking to a woman. Just the thought that they've been talking to a woman it's from, from the from the hell know. from the hello. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I seen you cross the room. I walked over. Hey, what's up? How yeah. you doing? Right, what's going? On? Hey, yeah, I'm I'm sharing, but I'm letting you know off real. Um, I was born a man. I don't know if you into that. Boom, quick, over. Easy, yeah. Easy. Easy, lemon squeezy. I feel. You know That's what I'm saying? Too. I, I, I guess. mean, if you're trans, um, but think about it this way. Think about it this way. Um, people who aren't trans don't walk up to people and be like, "Hey, I'm a woman," or "Hey, I'm a man." You're putting them in a position that is not something that would be not something be that's shared would, right away. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't walk yeah. up to people and be like, "Hey, yeah. I'm Albino." Yeah, like, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, so I get what you're you saying. Like, you get to know that person, and right, yeah, and you okay. get to know them and judge if they're worthy of that information. Exactly. Okay. But they judged it, and they still didn't tell. Them. Yeah, mm-hmm. See, I, li- I like that perspective. So. You're saying it falls into that what date I tell you this on because I know people have the first date info, second date, and then like right when they know, all right, look, before we go there, let me let you know all this mm-hmm. other stuff before we go forward. So you're saying that falls into that category. Yeah. How, I far, how, how far? How many dates? I don't think you can put a date on it. I think you got to base it on the vibe and how you and that person interact. Yeah. You might feel comfortable enough on the first date that you're going to tell this person. Yeah. But you meet the next person, you might have to go to two or three dates with them to make sure they, they can handle the information exactly. or yeah. you're comfortable even telling them. Yeah. So I don't think it's a number you can even say specifically which date. I think we put a lot of weight on um, people to provide that sort of information, but that's really personal. Mm-hmm. That's a really personal thing to tell people. That I was born a man, but now I'm transitioning into a woman. Like if 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 I was in that position, I can I couldn't imagine just blurting that out first time I yeah. speak to someone. Now, some people can't even tell their own parents that they yeah. want to do this to themselves. Right. You want me to tell a complete stranger this? Hey, hello. Hey, my name is Keisha. I, I was born a man. Mm-hmm. How are you? Mm-hmm. I, and I can I, I can take that. That's fair. Cause it's, it's a real it's a real fine line though. Cause I could get your number Saturday, and we could be texting and talking for days before we meet up. You know, we older now. We grown people working that stuff. We we ain't we we shoot. We might not be able to do nothing to ten days out, but we talking them whole ten days. Mm-hmm. Like and I'm and I'm flirting and you flirting and boom 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 and then we get. Ten days later is date one. Right. She, Sometimes she, within that ten days, a real discussion needs to be had between that flirting and kiki kiki and all that kind of stuff. A real, uh, you know, so y'all can figure out if y'all want to hang with each other. I would yeah. say you should definitely let them know before you give them head in the club. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely yeah. before you put your mouth on their pee pee. Let's say. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know. By the way, I, I got, got these this. kind of parts. I got, I got so. So we back in VIP, and then she get on her knees, and then she's like, "Hey, before I start, just want to let you know I got one of these too." <laughs> yeah, that's out. <laughs> this is still on the table, but this is also on the table. <laughs> 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 
Oh my goodness, man! That 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 here in the club, man. That that doesn't happen like that. Exclude, exclude, exclude. What? You know, though. We don't believe you. You know, it happens to somebody. Somebody. Yeah. Right uh, yeah, I mean, excluding, excluding strip clubs and what may or may not happen in the back room and stuff, like, uh, yeah, that's that's rare. That's, but that's a different situation, too, because she trying to, buddy finna go to the NBA, like, tomorrow. So, yeah. like, she ain't really had no time to waste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had, she had to go ahead and uh and, and try to and try to lock that, and, and lock yeah. that in. <laughs> All right, what's... um. What's one thing you change about the movie? Oh man, okay, let me go to my notes because oh, hmm. there was one part where the the dude I can't remember who saved whose life towards the end. Like he saved her life, or she saved his life, or something, mm-hmm. or he helped her yes. out, or something. Michael, Michael is his name. Yes. Michael. 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 Mm-hmm. Either way. He said something. I just want to take away your problems. Like, that, why do men think that's some shit that women want to hear all the time? Like, uh oh. Hey, okay. I, I want to hear it. Help me. <laughs> you know, help me. But, you know, take away. Nobody has that kind of power to just they take can. away. You know, so you don't applaud the attempt? Mm-hmm. You don't applaud the attempt? No. The- yeah, the attempt. I, I definitely, definitely applaud the attempt. I just don't want you to set the expectation that you can take them all the way. Like, say something else. Like, let me let me help you. You know, I, if, if there's a problem to be had, you know, I want to help you with it. Mm-hmm. That's some shit I can respect, some reasonable shit that, you know, that's, that's reachable, that's attainable. Don't, don't promise me the moon and the stars and all the clouds above. Oh, okay. So you don't want the baby face records. Okay. No, I, I, mean, I mean the sweet songs. I don't, I don't need no, no sweet promises. I understand. So don't talk about it. Do y'all it. agree? Do y'all yeah. agree with her on that? Um, I agree in so much Um, the words are unnecessary. Yeah. Like if that's what you're going to do, you're just going to do it. Right. Yeah. The, the taking the I'm going to solve all your problems and like that you said in the president, then we're gonna have an expectation of you. Don't set that ex- expectation. Just go ahead and do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. Right. You show us who you are. Right. Mm-hmm. See that that's why my version of that is hey, let's go out for smoothies. Cause I'm all <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's you feel easy. me? That, that's see, that, no that's expectations. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Smoothies. <laughs> and it's and they and it's gonna be the smoothie happy hour too. It's BOGO. We gonna start that. We gonna start out real slow. I'm a, um, and you brought up Michael. That's that's what I would change about the movie. I didn't like how at the end they had him call her back. Mm-hmm. Like I, I did. I did not. I I I did not like <laughs> that man because I'm a, and I'm gonna tell you. Because he could have, he could have even just been calling back to be like, "Hey, you know, I'm just calling to check on you. I know we kind of ended. Boom. I still, I ain't still ain't into that, but I just wanted to let you know, like I ain't gonna, you know, beat you up when I see you. Boom, boom, boom. But like, we don't know that because it left off with her. Like, you, you uh, think- here's the gotcha. thing: is that every man, all of these ladies dealt with, knew. At the end of the day, because it's except all the, except the realtor, because she pulled out Not number three on the realtor. Not the realtor. She, she yeah. pulled out. She broke the glass for emergency on him. Pulled yeah. the HIV yeah. card. That was tough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she ain't had to say that, but I guess that was. That was, was she had thing. to. Yeah. That was not. But but continue what you were saying though. That you saying they all knew. They seem like a lot of them knew. Most of the men knew yeah. about mm-hmm. this. So I think he knew when he made this big to do and left out of the house, but he didn't want to admit to himself that he's been really in a relationship with a man the entire time. Mm-hmm. Because like you said, you know, you've had a sex with a woman at any point in time. And now you're going to say do something different. Mm-hmm. It's going to feel a little different. 
Yeah. Regardless of what they say, it, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just had an epiphany. Okay, come on. Okay. So okay. even okay. sometimes you've never been with a guy and be like, oh my bad, wrong spot. They lie. They lie. They lie. They know. They know. They try. They try. It's trying to check. Trying to check the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we're trying just trying to check the temperature. They know. They know. They know. Let's just say that. They know. They know they made an oopsie oopsie. Because if y'all say, oh no, that's cool, I'm good with that. They going on here. They going on here. With that face right there. Okay, so excited. <laughs> it's, it's just, it just, it, it just, it was just so much. It was just so much in the movie, man. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, was that Tina? Why she did just leave? Like they could have. Think things could have so, been avoided. What got me at the end for okay, because it was her birthday and whatever. I understand that. But homegirl made it. She she on the other side of the country, living her life. I'm not going to come all the way. I love y'all so much. <laughs> I'm going to come all the way back. Talking about it's dangerous over here, girl. Come on, come over here. I got a surprise for you. No, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be like, hey, girl, I'm going to call you a little, hey, girl. So check your mail because I got you something. You flying out here. You flying out here. I'll see you tomorrow. And y'all, you gonna fly out here, yeah. and I'll see you tomorrow. And yeah. true, we gonna live our yeah. life because I'm gonna come get you. There was no reason for us to go back. No reason for her to go back TV. and get her and bring her back. True, mm. it was already her birthday. Like you're not bringing in the birthday with her, and no. you're showing up on her birthday. <laughs> like, mm -mm. And it was New Year's Eve. And mm -mm. a New Year's. So, yeah. So that was her birthday. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how she started the year. Uh huh. Yeah, I yeah. It was New Year. Yes. And Buddy yeah. came back to Harlem. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what? Okay, what about this? What about uh when she won the boxer? Man, they, and that boy, they were swinging high. Man, they had NBA draft hopefuls, middleweight champion. So she took the picture of the card, man, and she was like, oh, yeah. I, I wasn't stealing. I just bought a few things. I was like, what? that's stealing. What? <laughs> what? And she got I just bought a few things with his car. You serious? <laughs> just a couple <laughs> things. That's stealing. That's exactly the I can't do that. Crazy. They was really living. They was living dangerous, man. Yeah, that's yeah, dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Playing with somebody's money. Oh, you want to get fought. You want to get hurt. Yeah. Playing with somebody's money. Especially when I'm giving to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm spending for you. I'm right. paying up anything, anything, you, anything you want. Right. You get. And you stealing from me? Yeah. 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 You, you, you took a picture of my car while I was buying something for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that, was that, that was that was dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was unnecessary. That happens all the time, like in real life. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like you hear people say that people scam them. You know, working oh, yes. for the bank, they would call, they would go, and they would send them all their money, and they still take it from them. And you know, they don't have much, or even they do have something. But why? Why do you do that? Like they're giving it to you already. People crazy. On the side note, I don't know. I don't know if y'all saw uh, Steve Harvey interview on Earn Your Leisure, but he talked about how his accountant was stealing from him. Y'all seen that? <laughs> Man, his accountant was taking his tax return, coming over there. Steve signed it, write the check. He was taking it and just going to put it in his house, and then going to take the money out the bank, the exact amount. So. When Steve do check it, all he sees is the, you know, the right. money coming out, and he think it's that. His accountant died, and then oh. the lady calls like, hey, all your returns are over here. And he's like, huh? He's like, yeah, seven years, man, $22 million. Wow. That he owed. I don't know if y'all remember yeah. that when Steve was in, the, he was in tax trouble. Some years back, and that that was oh, why. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know and, that, that. And, and they say that happens often. 
like from the accountant side stealing and then it just ends up on you man he had to pay all that money back wow and the man died yep that's crazy yep so yeah man secret secret society we're at the part of the show where we just give it our fabulous scale rate on a scale of one to five bloods because it is a smoke screen whoever wants to start let us know where you got this movie landing at i'll go first i gave it three shots i gave it three shots for the fashion i i love the dedication they had for each other but it was also unrealistic to the real world some of the things that happened wasn't really gonna happen like it happened um but i thought it was a decent movie i give it three shots in my case mm-hmm. <laughs> um i enjoyed the movie i gave it four blunts um because i saw uh, <laughs> I gave it four. Like it was exciting at first. Again, like I said, I thought it was going to be something totally different. And you know, don't give it a chance. If you watch it, give it a chance. If you haven't watched it, give it a chance. Five minutes in, you're going to be hooked. I could stop if I wanted to. <laughs> I I also gave it four blunts um, because the story was good. I'm good not story. even gonna lie; it was a very entertaining story. It kept you wanting to know yes. what was gonna happen next. Um, I, the reason why I didn't give it any more than four blunts is because of some parts that were just unbelievable <laughs> and, and some fashion choices. But outside of that. Overall, it was a good story. So four blunts for me because I smoked too. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave it three blunts because I simply had to suspend my disbelief entirely too much. Um, uh, it was it was a good. It did catch you and it kept you and it was entertaining. Um, it was just too far fetched for me. So three blunts for me because. And that's what's up. So that rounds it off at three and a half blunts, which is real solid and real good for an independent movie like that. I need to try to see uh when I watched it, I reached out to uh the actresses that Rain of Love and Erica Peak, and that's the two young ladies' name. I reached out to them on Instagram. I was like, yo, I checked it out. See what y'all got going on. We'll see if I can get them on the smoke screen show. Because as we seen, they got part, they got part two coming. I don't know what that's gonna be about. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they possibly say nay. What else is gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we oh, will no. see. <laughs> oh. I don't know, but it's probably going to be a tight situation. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and on that note, boom, this has been another episode of the Smoke Screen. Shout out to Secret Society movie. One time for bouquet, black owned hemp papers that uh, I smoke out of, a proud sponsor of the show. And we will catch y'all next time. Go check the movie out. Bye. 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 Bye.